Alright, so today I'm gonna take a look at the most requested Minecraft server plugin tutorial I've ever gotten on this channel. Today, we're gonna take a look at Tab. Now the plugin tab basically does what it says. It lets you customize your tab list. And while it might sound really easy, it's actually harder to set up than you might think. Now it isn't so hard to set up because the plugin tab is so complicated. Not at all actually. It's more complicated because you actually have to do tons of preparing before you can even think about installing tab. Because the plugin tab actually very heavily relies on some other plugins. It will just assume you've already installed and set them up on your server. Now this is by far not always the case and I think that's the reason why most people actually struggle with setting up tab. So in today's video I'm gonna tell and show you everything you will need to know to set up the plugin tab and customize your tab list. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video and also check if you are subscribed to the channel. My analytics shows me that most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed, which makes me extremely sad. Clicking on the subscribe button and pressing on the notification bell will only take a second. You would help me out a ton and you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. Of course, I hope you don't, but you know, things happen. And then with it in further ado, let's dive right into it. So the plugin tab is a Minecraft bucket plugin, meaning that it will work for Minecraft paper and spigot servers. And it is a plugin that lets you customize your tab list. Now while that might sound very straightforward, it is a little bit more complicated than you might think. So before you can even think about installing tab, there are a few plugins you will need to install and set up before you can do so. Now the first one will be a permissions plugin. Now I would highly recommend Lookperms. It is by far the best permissions plugin out there. Lookperms is very easy to use and I've actually made a tutorial on Lookperms here on the channel. So if you want to check that out, a link will be in the top right corner right now. Make sure to watch that video, follow the instructions and at the end of that video, you will have Look perms set up and ready on your server basically if you watch that video and follow the instructions then at the end of it you will be ready look perms will be completely set up on your server and you will be able to move on now i think it does also work with other minecraft permission plugins though i don't really know which other ones are out there i know look perms which is by far the best one in the past i've used essentials group manager i don't think that even gets updated anymore there might be other ones and they might work but i would highly recommend look perms now besides Besides installing and setting up a permissions plugin, you will also need to install Vault. Vault is very straightforward. Literally, the only thing you have to do is click on the download button. Of course, a link to all plugins will be in the description of this video. Click on the download button, drag it into your plugins folder, restart your server, and you're ready to go. Now, you won't have to set up anything else with Vault. It's just dragging it into your plugins folder, restarting your server, and you're good to go. Now, the reason you actually want a permissions plugin and Vault on your server is because Tab very heavily relies on it. So besides just customizing your tab list, Vault will also sort your tab list. But to sort your tab list, people, of course, will need to be in groups. So you need to have a member group, an owner group, an admin group for example. But in the tab list, an owner will always be above a normal player. Now with Lookperms and Vault both installed, Tab will actually be able to see your Lookperm groups and sort accordingly. Now, let me show you something. Right now, I'm here on the Suracraft SMP server, my own Minecraft SMP server. Now if you take a look at the tab list here in my server, you can see Casasura, but it's in purple. There's also a prefix in front of my name that says owner. Now that's all set up in Lookperms. Now the reason we see it in the tab list right now, is because of Vault. That's why you will need to install it. Now, if a member joins on the server, it will always be beneath my name because it is a member. I'm the owner, so I have a higher rank. So a member, a normal member, will always be beneath me in the tab list. If an admin joins, it will be beneath me but it will always be above a member because it has a higher rank than a member, but of course it's not the owner. That's basically how the sorting works. Now if in chat you also want the same prefix and name color to show up, you will also have to install Essentials and Essentials Chat. Now if you don't want that and you just only want it in the tab list, then look perms and fault is enough. Now if you don't even care about having the same prefix across the board, you can even leave out fault. Then only the permissions plugin will be enough. But you will need look perms for sure to get it working. Now with all that out of the way, let's go and install tab. So installing tab is very, very easy. The only thing we have to do is download it from the link in the description. The plugin is not on Spigot MC anymore. It's only on MC Market. So you'll have to download it from there. The only downside of MC Market is that you will have to create an account. So we have to make an MC Market account. After that, you can just download it for free. Also, creating an account will be completely free. So no worries there. After downloading tab, drag it into your plugin folder, restart your server. And the next time you press on tab, 
you will see this. So this is what you will see the first time after installing Tab. It's a mess. At the top you have server name, after that you have some kind of animation, online players, online staff, I'm a staff member because I'm actually an OP on the server. Then you have your server TPS. It will change to the ping. My ping is zero. That's because uh, I'm actually local hosting this server. So my ping will be very, very low. Then you have the used memory. Like you can see, this server has eight gigabytes of RAM. It's using about one gigabyte of it. Beneath that, you will actually see me, the owner, the user. Right now, you will see there's no prefix. There's no suffix, nothing like that. Then beneath that, you have the date for some reason, the time for some reason. I don't know why you would even want that but sure it's there and then you have visit our website www.domain.com okay so we can completely customize everything here and i'm gonna show you how so let's go to the config so after shutting down your server go to your server folder then to your plugins folder then we will go to the plugin tab and then you will see four files over here we're just going to config first so here we got the config file of tab now there's tons of information here but the thing you want to take a look at first is the header and the footer so this is exactly what we see in the server right now over here header you will see server name then over here you can see animation welcome and then you got player and some other very strange looking things this is actually an animation so it's an animation that says welcome and after that you will actually have the player names now if you want to know the different animations that you can use you will need to go to the animations.yml file that was also in the tab folder then you got online players over here you got online staff members now you can customize all of it it's a very very customizable plugin so let's just go and customize something first uh i'm gonna turn this into test server there we go I'm gonna call test server it's a beautiful name now i don't want a welcome message so i'm just gonna delete it but let's say i want the tab list to tell me the player name three times in a row so beneath test server i want the username of the player that looks inside the tab list i want that username to display three times in a row over here you can see percent player percent they will actually display the username of the user that looks at it so if you join in the server and look at tab then your username will be displayed there if i join the server and look at tab then my username will be displayed there so we're actually gonna copy that i don't want an animation i just wanted to say player name and then another time and then another time now we can make it a different color in my case i'm gonna make it gold the color code for gold is six now if you want to know all the color codes in minecraft then also a link will be in the description you can look them up it's very easy so it will say test server in a color i don't like this color i want it to be blue there we go nine so test server on top after that your player name three times why not then you got online players with percent online percent which basically just grabs the amount of online players i'm gonna leave it like that i'm gonna make it gold though i think gold looks a lot better oh wait that's not gold that's gold there we go now the staff i don't care about that just gonna remove it there we go and here you got an animation ping tps now if you want to see all the animations like i said you can go to the animations.yml file let's go there real quick so here we go here we have the animations now if you want to use one of these animations then the only thing you have to do is go to your config file again so let's say we want to use uh, let's say we want to use vote let's see we want vote to be beneath our online players why not so to use the animation we're going to type percent animation and then we're going to type the kind of animation we want to use so in this case vote there we go then end it with a percent and that's it now you can see the animation over here and we can also customize it so the interval will be 1000 ticks i think it are ticks or seconds i'm not entirely sure i'm pretty sure it are ticks and beneath that you have the text and this is actually what the animation will say so we only type animation vote in here this is actually what it will do so with an interval of 1000 it will display if then it's a green or yellow color it will say vote.domain.com then after that it will display it in like another color or something i don't know what the at end means so i'm just gonna remove that there we go let's make it uh blue gonna make it blue so it will switch from green or yellow to blue then let's go to gold and then let's go to C. I think C is red. So now we'll go from yellow or green to blue. 
to gold to red. Which is basically change colors with an interval of 1000. Now if you think that's going too slow or too fast, then of course you can also change that. Okay, so nice, that's what we are doing. Uh, the animation for ping, if you want to know what the animation is, you can go to the animations of YML of course. You can go down to ping TPS, there it is. So this will be the animation of ping. Okay, so I, I don't want the TPS animation. Now let's say over here I want to use the admin prefix for whatever reason then i can just copy the name of the animation admin prefix and we can just paste it over here there we go now we'll display the admin prefix i don't know why you would want that but it's just as an example now here we have percent memory use and percent memory max i'm gonna delete that people don't need to know that and after that you got animation animation one animation one let's check what it is okay so that are the the just the stripes you know the stripe animation you saw on the server well that is this animation. Of course, you can change it. So if you want the colors to be different, then you can change all of these color codes. But yeah, my animation won. After that, you have footer. So the username, soul player list will be between the header and the footer. So here we once again got my animation one. So that means that shifting stripes are above and beneath the player list. After that, we got animation time. Now we can check out what animation time is. Let's see animation time. Nah, seems boring. We're just gonna remove it. Visit our website, animation website. Uh, I'm just gonna type a normal text here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just doing something. It doesn't matter, it's as an example. After that, you get the group sorting priority list. Now this is the reason why you needed to set up a permissions plugin before actually installing Tab. Tab wants to know which groups you have and the way you actually want to sort them. Because without groups, there's nothing to sort. So let's say on the server with Lookperms, I've made an owner group, an admin group, a premium group, and then I just have a default group. Then that are the only groups that will need to be in this list. So if I don't have a mod group, for example, I can just remove mod. Let's say I don't have a helper group, I can also remove that. A builder group, I also don't have that. Premium group, I have that on my server, so I will keep it here. And then the normal player group, I will also remove that. So now there's just the owner, the admin, the premium and the default group. Now this is the way I want to sort them. If you want the owner for some reason to be at the bottom of the list, you will have to put the owner at the bottom of the list. Now continuing on, you actually have to prefix for every single group. Now you can see owner and admin and player over here. Now let's say we want the player to not have a prefix, but we want the premium group to have a prefix. We can just change the player into premium like this if you also want the player group to have a prefix you can just copy this and then paste it beneath there make sure it all aligns great there we go and then we can change this to oh we have a default group let's change the default then there we go now this is the prefix it will have so right now it will say owner in i think very thick letters in tab in front of your name in front of the owner's name now you also got tag prefix over here so tag prefix is actually what will be above your head so not in the tab list but if one player looks at another player then the username of the player will always be above their head this is just how minecraft works now this is the prefix it will have above their head now what i did on my own minecraft server is i actually changed this to vault prefix so just like this i changed it to vault prefix now what you do by changing this to vault prefix is that tab will actually check the prefixes that are in vault vault is one of the plugins we installed now vault is also linked to look perms and in look perms if you follow my look perms tutorial you know you can also set up prefixes so right now tab will just grab the prefix from vault the prefix from Lookperms. So if in Lookperms you set up a prefix for the owner group, then right now the tab login will both in the tab list and above your head display that prefix. Now this is why I think installing Vault is very essential because like this your prefix and name color will just be the same across the board. And I think that's what most people want. But if for the admin for example you want the tag above their head to be an animation, you can also do that. I think though that most players would want the name above their head, the name in the chat, the name in the tag list to be the same color and have the same prefix. So in that case, you can just change this all 
to vault prefix and then it will just grab the prefix you've set up in lookworms. This is also why earlier I talked about setting up essentials and essentials chat. If you want your lookworms prefix to also show up in chat, you will need to install a chat manager like essentials chat. So if you have essentials chat installed, if you have tab installed, and if you have vault installed and in lookworms you actually set up a prefix then the prefix of a group will be the same in both the tab list above a player's head and also in chat now scrolling down i'm just gonna completely ignore this i'm also gonna completely ignore this so over here you can also make it so that uh, the health of a player will actually be displayed in the tab list so if we would copy this percent health percent to let's say the header then people will be able to see their own health in the tab list now there are tons of options here for all sorts of things you can do i'm not going over everything i'm just going over the most important things oh you can also have a different header and footer for every single world i'm not even gonna touch that i want my tab list to be the same across the board and then that should do the trick let's save the config file and let's hop in the game all right we're back in game and if we press on tab now you will see all the changes that we've made so on top you can see the test server in blue just like we made it so in the config file Beneath that, Casasora three times in a row. Then the online players, one. Beneath that, the vote animation. So that's the percent animation, vote, percent. We made it so that it would change colors every 1000 intervals. Well, it does that. And this is how fast 1000 intervals is. Apparently, I think it is 1000 ticks. But like you can see, it's constantly changing colors. Just like we made it so in the animation.yml file. Beneath that, you have the admin prefix. I don't know why we put it there but then we got like the side shifting bar animation you can see the color it is right now you can change the color so you can make it so that like the gray stripes are let's say blue and then the one that is like going from one side to the other side you can make that red for example you can do all that in the animations.yml file now beneath that we got the player list now i'm the only one online right now so i will always be on top but because in the sorting section of the config we made it so that the owner would always be on top of the list as soon as a member will join they will be beneath me in the tab list now the reason my name is blue and it has owner in front of the name that's because that's been set up in lookburps then i installed vault on the server and in the config file of tab, I did the percent vault prefix percent thing. And that made it so that it just grabs the prefix from the perms and puts it into your tab list. And then guys, that's basically everything for now. Like I said, it is quite complicated. Not because tab itself is so complicated. Of course, when it's the first time seeing the config file, you might be a little confused. But I hope I explained it well. And just start freaking around in it a little bit. See what works, see what doesn't. Now you could see that tab indeed relies a lot on other plugins. But tutorials to all those plugins will be in the top right corner so if you want to set up look perms top right corner if you want to install and set up essentials and essentials chat also in the top right corner and just make sure to throw vault into your plugins folder will always be very very handy and the link to all the plugins and everything i talked about in this video will of course be in the description that's everything for now i really really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like it if you're new to the channel not subscribed yet and you're enjoying the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell it's starting to rain that's how sad i am please smash that subscribe button you would help me out so much and then that's all for now i really hope i helped you guys out with this video and then i'll see you in the next one bye bye